Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, everyone. So thank you so much for the ones that are already here and for the other ones. Good evening, teacher. Them. Good evening. We're expecting them to, uh, to connect in a few minutes, probably. So thanks, God. Today, I didn't have any issue with Zoom. So that's, that's fine. So I'm very sorry for yesterday. Probably some of you were already connected into the into the call, but I couldn't I couldn't get in. So it was very very difficult for me actually. So, but um, I mean, as usual, guys, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to to the last topic that we saw. And uh, so let me ask you first of all, what do you guys remember about it? We so, saw, uh, let me give you like a brief recap of what we saw. It, uh, it was the present perfect, right? Perfect. Teacher, yeah. we yes. talked about the present perfect. Yeah, we talked about the present perfect. So can you tell me in your words, in your own words, or can someone tell me what is the present perfect? What do you guys remember about the present perfect? Um, it's like talk um, for experience. Um, um, it's not happening in the time a specific teacher. We don't have any specific time. Yeah, that's that's for sure. But. Uh, do we use any sure. type of auxiliaries? Yes. Experience and in event in the past. In the past, yeah, yeah, we use that. Uh, also, let me ask you: Do we use any type of auxiliaries in the present perfect? The auxiliary have in, in has. With uh, which are the personal pronouns that I use with the auxiliary have? I do with the. I do with they. What about uh, has? She, he, it. She, he, it. Yeah, of course. So we have an idea a little bit about the present perfect. But now another question: When we use the verb. What is the tense in which we have to use for the present perfect? What type of verbs do we use when we use the present perfect? Regular verbs, teacher. Though we don't use irregular verbs? Mm, <laughs> yeah, we use, we use both actually. But my question was, uh, do you remember like, it is simple past, it is present perfect, or what's the tense that we use with the verbs? As participle. Yeah, we use the past participle. participle. So today, before we go to, to another part of the present perfect, we're going to have a brief activity. And this activity, uh, I am going to ask you some verbs. So it's gonna be about the verbs. Because remember, the verbs are on a very important part in the present perfect. So have you studied the verbs? Or did you study the verbs at home? That's the question. I'm pretty sure you didn't. So the activity is going to be about the verbs. How so? So in that case, I'm going to tell you a verb in the infinitive form, and you will have to write it down in past participle. So we're going to have, uh, let me see, the list is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have a list of 15 verbs, but those we're just going to use 10. So once again, I, uh, do you have a pen or pencil or paper with you 
so we can continue with this uh, with this activity. I need you to have that. Is after that, or I don't know if you're using your computer or something like that. So if you're using your computer or a Microsoft Word, um, you know, document, you can write them there and then you just can send the screenshot if you're doing so. If you're not doing that, so in that case, you will have to write it down on a piece of paper using a pen or pencil, okay? So uh, once again, in this list, I'm going to give you the verb in the present form or the infinitive form, and then you will have to write that down in past participle. Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. I... Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So is everyone ready? Does anyone, does anyone have a piece of paper or pen and pencil there with you so we can start? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So we're going to start. The first verb is going to be the, fir uh, the verb draw. Draw. Do you remember that? Draw. I will repeat it three times. Each one of them, I will repeat it three times. Remember, I'm telling you the verb in present perf, I mean in, in, in infinitive or in present, and you will have to write it down in past participle. That's what we're doing, okay? Do not get confused on that part. Now, the next verb, dream. 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 Let me know when you're done so I can move to the next one. Okay, so let's move on to number three. Drink, drink, drink. Okay, I, I, I think that we are ready for the next one. Number four, drive. Drive, drive. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is number five, eat, eat, eat. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Fall, fall, fall. I hope you're being honest. Espero que todos lo estén haciendo con honestidad. Honesty. If you know it, okay. If you don't know it, okay. That's fine. So let's go to the next one. Feel, 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 feel. How many do we have right now? I think that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven, right? So let's go with number eight, find, 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 find. Okay, now let's move on to number nine, which is Fight, 
fight, fight. And the last one that is going to be forget, 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 forget. Okay, so now I need everyone, I don't know, to take a picture of what you did, you know, to take to do a screenshot if you're using your computer and you have to send that to the WhatsApp group. So later on, I can take a look to, and verify what you did. Teacher, my cell phone is the is in low battery. Can I write in the chat or the song? Yeah, I mean, if if you think that you can do it like in a very short time, go ahead and do it. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Okay, now in your personal opinion, I would like to ask someone of you, how did you feel with those verbs? Were you able to to, I mean, to write the past participle of all of them? Or you felt, oh, you mean, oh, you mean on the chat, okay. All right, so I can see it, okay. Great. All right, so let me see, Elmer. How did you feel, Elmer? How was the activity for you? Was it difficult? A little, a little okay. difficult. Okay, so what about you, William? Was it difficult for you? I mean, the verbs that, that I gave you were difficult for you? Uh, yes, a little. A little. What about you, Iris? What do you Me think? Too. Me too, teacher. A little <laughs> difficult. So let me see the last person, Edith. How was the activity for you? Edith Araceli? Mm, difficult teacher. Difficult. Okay, so <laughs> I see that the majority of you think that that was difficult. So what that is telling me is that we still have to study the verbs more. Yeah, that's what we have to do. Now, a random question. If I ask you, like in general, what is the past participle of the verb fly? What is the past participle of the verb fly? Flow, teacher. Flow. Flow, and how do you spell that, Katya? How F do you spell it? Uh -huh. <laughs> F. L O W. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you agree with what she said, William? Do you agree? Do you think that is correct what she said? Uh, it's um, F L O W N. Excellent. So we were missing the letter N, Katya. So we say flown. So that was just the letter N. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. So today, guys, in today's topic, what we're going to see is the differences that we have between the simple past and the present perfect. At the end of that topic, we were also going to have some activities which are going to be not difficult, but a little bit confusing. Why? Because we are going to use both present perfect and simple past. So probably for some of you, it's going to be a little bit difficult to identify 
whether to use present perfect or simple past, because sometimes they are a little bit like this little, like, uh, like in similarities. So let me just go ahead and share the screen with you so you can have an idea. Let me see, just give me a moment, so I, okay. So as you can see there, it says present perfect and simple past. So today we're going to have uh, like, you know, some, some details or some information that is going to help you to identify when you have to use present perfect and when you have to use simple past. It's very obvious that, for example, in some situations, like um, if we're talking about an event that occurred yesterday, am I going to use simple past or present perfect? Simple past, yes, why, my teacher. Why do you think that, Katya? Because is the event in the past? Because the event, the event is in the past and we have some expressions that to help us to identify when we have to use each one of them. So thank you very much for that. So let me, let me just try to share here. Okay, there we go. So here we have just a reminder, a reminder of the present perfect and the auxiliaries that we use. Once again, we already know have for our you would day and has for he, she, and it. We already know that. So we're just going to move on. And here, guys, here we have some timelines in which we are going to try to understand how, uh, how we are going to identify simple past and present perfect or some similarities or some characteristics that we have with each one of them. So, um, Eribin, are you there? Yes, teacher. All right, so can you please go ahead and help me reading the, the purple part? Okay. Uh, one, event, one event in the past, we know when it was. Example, yesterday I went to the shop. I played the piano when I was a child. The president was, sh was shot last year. All right, thank you very much. So as we already know, every one of you know that we are going to obviously use the simple past about when we're talking about an event that of course, happened and finished he, its action in the past. So we already know that. So we have this just this timeline uh, helping us to identify. So the examples that we have here, we have some expressions such as yesterday. When you listen to the word yesterday, automatically you know that that word is giving you the idea of the past. Another word, uh, in example number two, who can tell me what is the word or what is the sentence that gives you the idea of the past? Can someone uh, identify in number two, which is the word or the expressions that give you the idea of the past? Maybe when? Maybe the bird maybe the bird in the past simple. Mm, it, can, it can be also that, but for example, let's suppose, let's suppose that you're talking with uh with someone who his or her English is not well understandable, like like he or he or she does not pronounce the words correctly. And you did not under, uh, understand if that person pronounced the verb uh, in past. So if you didn't understand how that person uh, said the verbs, what is that that is going to give you the idea? For example, in number two, let's suppose that I say I played the piano when I was a child. 
but you didn't really listen to the to the pronunciation of the past. So what is that expression that is going to give you the idea of that? In teacher, in this case, the end of sentence. Um, in my case, I understand the end of sentence. For example, I was a child. Okay. Maybe is is the person is old. I understand. Is the action in the past? Yeah, that's that's actually very good. Why? But as as you're you're saying. If the person is old or is, uh, for example, this person is 40 years something, and this person is talking about something and all of a sudden this person says, when I was a child. So even though you didn't quite understood what this person was saying, like the right pronunciation of the verbs in past, but the expression when I was a child automatically gives you the idea of the past. That's what I was saying. Now, in, in sentence number three, can someone identify what's the expression that is giving you the idea of the past? Last year. Last year, automatically. We know when it, when it says last year, boom, automatically we know that we're talking about an event or something that happened last year and that probably, uh, I mean, it is stopped there, the action started there and finished there. So now let's see, let's go with the, the first part of, of the present perfect. Can I have a volunteer? Me, teacher, it is. It is, go ahead, please, it is. Help me reading this part. One event in the past, we don't know or care when it was. Mm -hmm. I had been to the stop, to the stop, the shop. president shop. Mm -hmm. The president has been shop. Okay, shop. Okay. okay, what different shop, shop is T E P. The pronunciation. Oh, this is P shop with the P shop, shop with, with like a T at the end. That's pretty shop. much the difference, yeah. In the pronunciation shop shot. Uh I mean it's, it's not that strong. I mean you just have to say shop in the first shop. like shop and then shot, like with the T, no T at the end. Mm -hmm. That's that's the only difference that we have in pronunciation, of course, but then in spelling, that's completely different. So as it's saying there. There have something happened here, one event in the past that we do not know or we do not care about it. For example, if you said like the first example, I have been to the shop, we go every single day, don't we? I mean, you go to the store every single day, we can say I have been to the store instead of saying the shop, I have been to the store. Probably some of you go every single day to the store to get some eggs, to get some cheese, to get some pasta, whatever, whatever, cream. So, but those are events that happen like so many to go, some hours ago, but we do not care about them. Why? So in that case, when, when an event like that occurs, that's when we have to use the present perfect. These ones, we don't commonly use it that much because we, we normally focus on this, this one, which is the last one in present perfect. But still, it's very important that you know that you can still use uh, the present perfect when you're talking about one event in the past that we don't know or you don't care about it and you don't know what when it was. So then let's go with the last one, which is another part of the Present perfect, and I would like to have, uh, let me see, Ingrid, are you there, Ingrid? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please, and help me with the last one. The event started in the past and is, is still true today. Example, mm -hmm. I have played the piano since 1992. Since, since sorry. Mm -hmm. I have played the piano since 1992. 
-hmm. I have lived in the UK for three years. Okay, so that's that's the one that we talked about two days ago, actually. So we already know that that events that happened in the past or started in the past and we're still doing or those events are still true till today up until now so though when we talk about those events we will obviously have to use the present perfect so do you guys have any questions so far do we kind of understand the differences between simple past and present perfect or no? Well, I will take your silence as a jest, so I'm going to move on to the So, so Teacher. Yes. And uh, yeah. in, in, in Spanish, the okay. other, la otra lámina, es que yo me confundo un poquito el presente perfecto, donde dice have been, En el otro presente perfecto, entiendo yo que donde está Javín es un, como que dice ahí que es un evento en el pasado que uno no conoce, ¿verdad? That you don't, you don't know or you don't care. Ajá, o, o no importa. Y el, el otro es un evento que comienza en el pasado, pero que siempre lo, puedo, lo estoy haciendo. Exactly. Yes, that, that is exactly what it okay. is. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Uh, all right. Okay, no, that's not a problem. Thank you, teacher. Thanks, thanks for asking. So uh, does anyone else have any other questions so far or so far so good? So far so good? Well. Teacher, hay otra manera de identificar el presente perfecto. Que no tenga el presente perfecto. Uh, like, like how? I mean, uh, when you said identify, what do you mean? Eh, por ejemplo, cuando dice presente perfecto, digamos, si alguien nos hablara presente perfecto, pero ¿cuál de los dos sería? sería oh, no, no, no. Que... no, no, no. I mean, you don't, you don't have to identify. It's not that we have two. No significa que tenemos dos presente perfecto. We just have one. Uh, what, what, we're, what we were saying, que lo que estábamos diciendo aquí, no es que hayan dos, sino que son el mismo present perfect, pero... En eh, distintos tiempos. No, not in different tense, no en distintos tiempos, sino que en diferentes si oh, okay. situations. Uh -huh. Depende del so, contexto, digamos. Yeah. When you have a situation like this, cuando tienes una situación como esta, vas a usar presente perfecto, no es que este es uno y este es otro. Um, oh, okay. them are the same. Lo mismo. Teacher, en ese caso, eh, el de abajo es porque tiene eh, la fecha exacta y el de arriba no. Podríamos no, 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 really, no, really. Most of, as you can see, uh, I mean, Katia, Katia saw this part here. When you said, uh, when you use I have been, is because you're saying he estado. I have been, I have been to the shop. So, cuando tú dices he estado, is because, of course, tú has estado en algún lugar, pero ¿qué pasó? No te importó el lugar donde fuiste. I mean, you have been there, of course. You can say, I have been, uh, I have been working today or something like that. Or I have worked today. Eh, he trabajado hoy. So, you go every single day, tú vas todos los días, but those are, son eventos a los que tú hay veces ya ni les tomas o les prestas atención. You don't care about them. So that's sí, why. Mm -hmm. Es algo relevante para... It's para not el relevant. Día. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, pero es necesario que tenga el auxiliary have been, right? I oh, mean, no, have, no. have been is not an auxiliary. The only auxiliary is have and has. Ah, have and has. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. yes. So yes. being right. there is the past participle of the verb be. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. that, that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, 
Yes. Es que yo creo que lo que confunde en este tiempo es que lo que tenemos que entender allí es de que en español es como cuando nosotros usamos el verbo haber, ese have y has es lo que nosotros entendemos por haber. Exacto. Y ese haber nosotros lo conjugamos de diferentes formas dependiendo de del, la persona que esté hablando. Por ejemplo, yo he hecho esto, ahí ese e es el verbo haber conjugado. Exacto. Ella ha ido, ese a es el verbo haber conjugado. Exacto. Y así sucesivamente, mm -hmm. ese have y has es el verbo haber y va a cambiar dependiendo de la persona que esté hablando. Pero oh, es lo course. que, si nosotros queremos decir, yo ya he estado ahí, I, uh, I already have been there. Mm -hmm. O sea, eso es lo que tenemos que entender. Ese, yes. ese have y has es haber. Y, y eso es el presente eh, perfecto. Yes. You listen to what he said? I mean, that's pretty much present perfect. That's what we're, that's what we uh, have been talking about. Present perfect is exactly what he said. So sometimes we kind of get confused on that. And that's the reason why we don't, we don't really understand what's going on or, or when do we have to use present perfect. But it's really easy. I mean, it's what I've been said. We just have to focus on that and try to understand that when we're trying to say something like a ver, o yo he, o yo, o ella ha, o él ha, nosotros hemos, something like that. When we say something like that, we're going to use, of course, the present perfect. Why? Because the, the auxiliary have and has, that's the meaning that it has when we translated it. So it will, it will vary depending on the subject we're using. Because if we're using she, we're going to say ella, of course. If we're talking about us, or nosotros, we're going to say nosotros hemos. So according to, to, to the subject we're using, of course, the translation is going to vary. Okay, so that's what we have to understand. So do you guys have any questions so far? No questions at all. It's it's clear. I hope it's clear. So here we have some other some other things like you know in the present perfect. So actions once again that started in the past and still influence the present. We're talking about recent actions or in this case simple past or past simple action that started and finished in the past. We have some keywords here that are going to help us to understand when we're talking about each one of the tenses. For example, in present perfect, we have expressions such as ever, never, since, for, just, yet, already, recently, lately, this week, this month, this year, etc. And in the part of the simple past, we have expressions or keywords like yesterday, last Saturday, last week, last month, last year, etc. We can also use ago, like one month ago, two days ago, one day ago, two hours ago, one minute ago, and things like that, and so on and so on. So another one, when I was, when we, when we listen to when I was, automatically we are going to understand that we're talking about simple past. Or when we talked about past dates, but this one is not, is not really that, um, I mean, like, like that, because if you can see here, we're saying since 1992, we're also using a past date. So, but which is the expression or the keyword that is going to give you the idea about the present perfect? The keyword since. So when you see that, automatically you're going to know, okay, that's present perfect. Do we have any question, guys? Questions so far? Are we clear? Well, okay. So, Ahorita pueden revisar, you can check right now, su lista de verbos, ¿verdad? Porque estos son los mismos que les dicté hace ratito. 
So now you can see if you did it correctly or not. So we have draw, drone, dream, dreamed, or dreamed, drink, drunk, drive, driven, eat, eaten, fall, fallen, uh, feed, fed, feel, felt, fight, fought, find, found, flee, fled, fly, flown, forbid, forbidden, forecast, forecast, and forget, forgotten. So you can check right now how you did it. So you see, that's, that's like, you have to study the verbs, guy. It's very, very important that you study the verbs. So that's one of the main things that we have to try to practice as much as we can. Uh, so, here we have another part, which is also very important that you know that in present perfect, we can also create questions in how do we do that? Very easy, we just move the auxiliary at the beginning, depending on the subject, and then the verb in past participle, the complement, and of course, the question mark at the end. That's the formula that we have to follow. So as you can see here, we have an example. I have, lived in El Salvador for 20 years, for example, or uh, I'm sorry, it's like, has he, has he eaten pupusas uh, yet? So that's, that's, those are, that's the way we have, we're going to say the, the questions. Now, how do we answer those questions? Does any one of you have any idea? The short way, when, when you say yes, you're going to say, yes, I have, or no, I have not. Or of course, you can use a contraction and you can say haven't, like that, okay? So those are, for example, if I ask you, uh, Iris, have you, have you started the verbs yet? No, I haven't, teacher. You see? No, I haven't. So that's the short way. I mean, sometimes you are going to use long answers, but most of the time people are going to prefer if you only say, yes, I have, no, I haven't, or no, I have not. I mean, uh, I'm not saying that it's not correct if you answer the long way, that will be up to you actually. But it's easier for you if you only use the contracted or the shorter form, okay? So uh, that's the way that we create questions. Questions guys so far? Did we understand how to use the present perfect on simple past and the differences that we have uh, between one and another? In the question, eh, podemos poner también eh, el tiempo de, de, de la acción o de lo que estamos preguntando al final. Like, has, like, like how? Has he eating, eating pupusas in the morning? Yes, why not? Has he eaten pupusas in the morning? Okay. Yeah, you can say that, yes. So any other question? Maritza, right? When uh, you say yet, mm -hmm. in Spanish is uh, uh, aún? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we are going to see that topic, the expression. So tomorrow um, um, I will explain you each one of them. But thank you so much for asking right now. So we have, uh, you know, like an idea of what we're going to see tomorrow. Okay. So any other question guys so far? Did we understand? Well, okay. So I will take that as a yes. So now we're going to the part, oh, just let me erase that. 
We're going to go to the part of the practice, guys. And, oh my God, I cannot move this. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we have. All right, so here, this is the first part. It is pretty much uh, just a conversation, a simple conversation that we have. And uh, for you not to take that much of time, we're just going to do it the same way that we have been doing this, the conversations. You know, one person, one line, another person, second line, another third one, and so on, and so on, and so on. So we don't take that much, just doing it two by two, okay? So uh, can I move to the next one? Okay, so I will move on. All right, and here we have. And this part, guys, what we have to do is that we have to identify if we have to write or if we have to use simple past or present perfect. So it's going to be not difficult, but probably a little bit tricky for some of you. Can I move to another one? Well, I, move, I, I will move. Yes, it's true. Okay, that is all that we're going to have the exercises. So, in this case, I'm going to create the, the groups. And all right, so please go ahead and join your groups. Remember, try to speak in English, please, as much as you can. So let's go.
we are in Whistler, so I need to find out if there's any good, rationally priced place. We don't want to take him with us this time. Oh, we'll go look after him, I guess. I will have to check with my wife, Troll, see if, if she is okay with it. Oh, really? I mean, we'll be so grateful if you could. Finish the conversation. Okay. The next. The other, the repeat or the other uh, exercise? Other exercise. Okay. Should the past simples? We have identified the verb, no? Maybe. I think it is, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I decided. Choice the past simple or the present perfect tense. No había visto, perdón. He, the three. Three, number three. He lived. Well, sorry. Pasado. Had. 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 Lives, lives with D in the end. D the Los Los. Oh, oh no, I'm lose my wallet. Oh, pasado. Oh no, I'm. Oh my God. Los, 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 los. L L O S T lost. Yeah, is it the past lost with the lost lost uh -huh. like the series <laughs> lost yeah. the five C J. Los sería lost, verdad? Sí. ¿Cómo quedaría la oración entonces? Oh no, I have lost. Sería have igual. Ajá. Uh -huh. my, my great, great, my great, grand, great my great grandfather had five sisters. Had five sisters, ajá. Uh -huh. O oh, have, tiene, have five sisters. How? Y de, 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 de he. Ah, uh, pero no sé, si estamos hablando de past, de simple past, or the present perfect tense. Then, Was my great grandfather had five sisters. Mm -hmm. The next. 
recently. Uh, he lived in Manila for a uh, year when he was a student. He, he lived in my. He lived. He has no. He. Well, he. Y the verb he is has. Sería has. Has is in he, she, it, but is. Okay. Yes. Sure. yes. I have a question because for me, the exercise for me okay. is very <laughs> complicated. Because the number five. For me, it's the simple past, but. What you like today? Number uh, number five, five. It's, it's the one that says Julie I, today, right? Yes. Okay, for you, it's simple past. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I Sorry I for the Spanglish. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can the auxiliary. Did, did. Mm. or no. no? In that case, in that one, in esa, tenemos dos posibilidades. We can say, Did you see Julie today? Or we can say, okay. Have you seen Julie today? Uh -huh. Does it mean uh -huh. that we can use both? We can use simple past and present perfect. Okay, both. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pero, entonces ahí utilizaríamos el auxiliar how. Ah, present perfect. I have yes. Yes. I have. I well. have uh he sería has no sería have sí. I have I have read six books this week okay and the A is Amy has lived no when he was a young when we have so done lives come Amy has Amy has lived lived mm, I don't know I think that any lived in Portugal, when she she was young, yes. she was in the past. Ah, in the past. Only okay. past. Okay, you're right, Amy. Excellent. Leo. Yes, yes, yes. In the night, she visited last month. I am seeing the last month in the past. Uh -huh. Visit. 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 The gem, this is the bundles. <gasps> Invade. Wow. I don't know. Invade. Invite. 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 Uh, I don't know. Invite. I don't know. This is not a study in the world. The verbs. <laughs> How can mate? Yeah. I don't know. Invade it? Invade, invade is invadir. Invade it, teacher, from the end of the final? Invade it? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. You write the 10, 12 words? Elmer, Iborio. Uh, 12, 12 words? Yes. Okay, and the cheer exercise. Simple first or present perfect. Okay, in the one. I have lunch with Emily yesterday. 
I have. How? The first I have. What? I have lunch with Emily yesterday. I have. I have. I have eat lunch with Emily yesterday. I have eat. Eaten. 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 Kaba. No. Eight. Ese es el ejercicio que puso el antes. Ajá. ¿Tú sería? Si es, si es comido, tiene que ir. Ir. Eating. eating. Ajá. La fórmula ING. Pero como sí. estamos poniendo en el presente perfecto, no sería eight. Eight. Please pay, pay attention to the verbs that you see there. Pay attention to that. Do not get confused on any other thing. I have. I have eaten lunch with Emily yesterday. Eat it. Yesterday is is in the last sim, sim, simple past. Yes. Yes. I have. I have. To seria. I have been. No, es que ese es estado. No. Tiene que ser y, eh, eh, ate. I have ate lunch with Emily yesterday por, because it's simple pass. Mm -hmm. I think that you're still not understanding what Elmer is saying. Elmer is the answer, but you're not understanding what he's saying. Ate it. No. <laughs> Why did you say that, Elmer? Revolver night. <laughs> I don't remember let to say that <laughs> it for two minutes ago. <laughs> ah, teacher, it's difficult. I know. <laughs> Pass it to number two, please. My son. <laughs> Those, my son. So we're just going to wait for your classmates to join the main um, the main session, because I see that some of them are still in the work breakout rooms. Some of them are still there. Okay, they're coming back right now. Okay, guys, how was that? How was it? Was it easy? Was it complicated? Was it confusing? No, teacher, it's very confusing. Confusing. The, the, the very very a lot, a lot, a lot. Very, very, very. <laughs> it's fatality. When they... <laughs> <laughs> well, I no, saw that some of you were debating. Confusing. I don't remember. I don't remember the, the first part. Before. Yeah, you see, you see, that's why. Es por eso que no nos acordamos. Don't, don't start the verbs. <laughs> And uh, algunos estaban confundidos, otros que decían este sí, otro que este no, y este así, este no. But it was, it was really, I mean, for some of you, me fijé que alguno de ustedes 
rapidito captaban las expressions, las keywords. For example, last month, what is that? Present perfect or simple past? Simple past. Simple past. Okay, if I say um, since 1991, present perfect or simple perfect. past? Present perfect. Okay, present if I say yesterday, Simple past. simple past. Of course, simple past. So in some sentences, there were some expressions like those. So some of you automatically got the answer. Some others got confused. I understand that as I, as I, as I have been telling you, we have to study the verbs. So that's what we have to do a lot. So, uh, well, Actually, the time is over, guys. So that's going to be all for today. I really appreciate the fact that you're here. So, um, I care like that it's been the, the exam to the Tuesday. <laughs> and no, on Thursday, we're not having the exam tomorrow. We will have it on, we will have it on Friday. Y así va a estar. <laughs> yes, just a little bit like that. So you see, we have, that's why I, I always ask you, uh, like, or, or I always tell you, ask questions, pregunte, 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 pregunte. So that's, that's how you're going to learn. So, well, that's going to be all for today, guys. See you tomorrow at the same time and have a good night, okay? See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow.